My name is Dr. Mark V. Barra. I am a uh, retired cardiologist from Gainesville, now living in Melrose. I've been very involved with the Matheson Museum since its inception, where we have three main missions. The Matheson Museum, uh, which is on these premises, the Matheson House, which is also where we're located now in the front yard, and the Native Plant Botanical Garden which is also one of our major missions. It's a joint venture between the city of Gainesville and the Matheson Museum. It was provided through a generous uh, donation from the Coffrin family. And in this, we have 110 native plant species and 1,500 plants that we have brought in. You can see some of these uh, behind us. What we have tried to do is use all native plants. There were some original plants here in the Matheson front yard, some azaleas, and other trees that we have left, but most of the plants that are in here have been brought in, including a lot of the palms and so forth. Within the park, there's an alphabet walk, which begins behind the museum and then curves around and comes up beside the Matheson house, and it has each species of shrub or tree that we have in the park, totaling 110 of these, beginning with the alphabetical name of the, uh, using the scientific name, such as Acer rubrum is the red maple, would be the first one and the last one would be Zamia floridiana, which is the Kunti plant. So uh, we're very proud of this, and it's uh, unique to visit, and there are some bl uh, blooming flowers virtually all year. Even in November and December, the Sasinquin camellias and something called a Christmas honeysuckle. Starting in late January, the first spring flowers are the wild plums, then redbud, then dogwood, and after that, everything starts blooming. We have over 85 native azaleas called rhododendron species. The canescent is the pink one, and the uh, orange one is the Florida flame. And these are very difficult to grow, uh, but we have 85 of them that are thriving and doing well at bloom. Right now, most of the spring plants have already bloomed and come and gone, but the hibiscus species, the native hibiscus, two of them are blooming right now. Something called a scarlet hibiscus that blooms in some of, uh, along the roadsides and something called a swamp hibiscus, and they're very beautiful. But uh, there'll be something blooming virtually every month. And you can walk through the alphabet walk and identify most any species that you're curious about, and they have tags with them that tells you what species they actually are with the scientific and common name. sinking low, my true lover went to sail on the sea. It was in the month of June, and the roses were in bloom, when he took me in his arms and said to me, you're a flower. 